Okay, so the question I got was how to manage unmanageable workloads. Well, for me, the thing with unmanageable workloads would I, I, I would say is probably you're, you're getting drained of energy and feeling stressed out. I think to know with that from uh, acu uh, from kinesiology muscle testing is when you're stressed um, uh, or in fear or anger or doing something or you feel there's too much going on, you, your meridian lines get busted and your chi stops flowing through various energy lines and uh, you may have uh, less, less vital energy moving to your kidneys, your heart, uh, you know, to your immune system. So that, that sort of uh, intense work and feeling drained and exhausted. Um, so the, the main thing to realize is, well, if you've been well for a long time, you can cope with that for a while. But uh, like in my experience, um, if you do that for years and years of sort of addiction and fear, uh, fear is related to blowing out the acupuncture meridians, the chi energy to the kidney kidneys. So I got kidney failure. So I don't really recommend it unless you want sort of a heart attack. <laughs> I don't know if you want a heart attack or kidney failure, but uh, or a loss of immune system. But um, so it, it's an indicator. It's like um, it's like one way to do it. I mean, you can do it two ways. One is to pray to God for the right thought or action. Uh, is something needs to be let go of or or, or or changed. Or the other thing is to transcend it. Um, one of the things I do, I, my body tells me straight away if I'm um, if I'm overdoing things or exhausted or or applying what uh, Dr. Hawkins would call force. I'm trying to force the situation uh, from my ego, or I feel uh, fear or resentment or grievance or something. So is to I re I start to get that feeling of being um, exhausted and tired. So the thing there is just to um, uh, is just to be, is just to sit and with a straight back and just be with the, the symptoms, the feelings. So you can actually and um, stop labeling and just uh, let the uh, feeling be experienced without labeling, uh, labeling it. And when I do that, um, I can actually uh, rejuvenate. I, it's like almost you're feeling out the exhaustion and the tiredness and 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 all the any any sort of uh, energies that are there so that's the one i tend to do and then um not because you know i'd had such a severe health problems in the past that has to come as a priority because it's like it's like uh if you don't if you don't deal with um the disconnect from source i.e your body starting to deplete then uh Generally speaking, the you know unmanageability and more body depletion occurs. So it's like it's like the way my ego is handling the situation, or the choices it's made, or the karma it's currently facing. Um, it's like you know it's like either it's an emergency, either deal with it spiritually, or don't deal with it and try and push through with your ego, uh, which would probably lead to more unmanageability and more drained feelings, and eventually perhaps a mental or physical breakdown. So it's almost like an indicator from the universe or a body sort of saying, look, you've got to find a spiritual way of handling this and rejuvenating the source, or um, you know, you're going to have to suffer the consequences. So that's one way, but unmanageable workloads, the other way to do it, if you've got time is to transcend. Um, you, of course, there, there is no effort or stress if you've transcended the situation, because there's nothing to transcend, there's no resentment, there's no fear, there's no karma, there's no there's no tracking of that as being difficult. So, like walking in the park on a sunny day is not like stressful because there's nothing to transcend. I mean, it's just pure, purely peaceful and flowing. So, if you're in a job and people are shouting and screaming and putting demands on you, then, uh, for example, then. Um, Actually, that's not really stressful. It's only your ego reactions or the way your or your baggage related to that. So you can transcend it. Prayers are good. You know, to, I surrendered your God. Uh, you write down a list of all the things that are affecting you, all the hooks that are pulling you off and sort of draining you. Uh, whatever the beliefs are, or thoughts are, or whatever your perceptions are, like fear, anger, grievances at individuals, um, 
self-pity at the workload. So you just do that and then go, I surrender to God, this, this, and this, uh, and I pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles. Do that over and over again. And it will bring spiritual aid to dissolve uh, those phenomena that uh, is being experienced. So you can, you can transcend it through uh, cancelling beliefs or surrendering it. Uh, which, how does that work? Well, it's just invoking the dissolution of your ego's perception of that so that you're one with grace. And when you're one with grace, there is no, because it's the ego's perception that creates the stress and the disconnect from source. So once that dissolves, there is isn't, there is not, there is no problem. There's even no perception of it. So these miracle, the miracles and the flow starts to occur. So uh, it's easy. You don't have to do any spiritual work to walk in the park, but uh, to be in a state of peace and flow at work, there may be a lot of sort of stuff to, to clean up, to totally transcend that and feel peace, to feel peaceful and to feel effortless in a work situation because there's so much baggage that could be there. Uh, transcending that. Sometimes, you know, are you holding on? You know, this is when uh, praying to see the situation in truth or praying for divine guidance. Um, uh, if you um, sometimes it can just be karma, heavy karma is just like you have to pay off some heavy karmic debt uh, or consequence. And so uh, one way to pay that, if you can intuit it or see someone who can muscle test that, then you may be able to sort of uh, pray for forgiveness or pray for um, pray to let go of the situation, the karmic situation, so as to alleviate the situation. It's like um, for example, I've been dishonest around money, and some I will get uh, people who are dishonest with money around me. So I can see clearly that um, I'm being slapped around <clears throat> because I've slapped people around. So it's, once you, if you see it differently, actually, you just accept it and, and let it go. You know, well, you, you're you're pretty bad. So now you, you get to uh, experience what it's like to to be on the other side of the coin. Uh, but sometimes, you know. Uh, life is difficult because there's a choice to be made and so just praying for guidance is like and my previous level of consciousness in the past i've made a i've made a choice which hasn't been for my highest good i mean i did that when i chose a job in the stock market i thought that would be bring my ultimate happiness and it uh, brought a lot of negativity so have i made a choice which is not is and maybe my ego likes it but is not in alignment with my spirit um, and um, also, you know, the, the, the pushing for stuff and disregard for the health of the body and the care of the body and, uh, and the well-being of the body, of course, um, as a workaholic, you know, I think that is not, you know, it's not, it's not divine will. So again, looking at that to see what can be, what can be done. So those, I, yeah, I hope some of those are useful and I'm going to stop recording.